So what I like to do is because I want to bring life, real life example to all of you. That's very important. Agree now, Blake. Right. It's better to have a real life example. Agree now, Craig. Right. Great. Yes. Nigel, you okay? Shall we wake up and do exercise? <laughs> Agree now, Nigel. No need. Uh. Okay. <laughs> you better live. Agree, Nigel. I mean, we need real life examples. So, okay. Last week, we talked about all these things here. We start halfway through. Today, we are do paper one. So next week, uh, whoever is going to stay on, you must submit your essay to Uncle Raymond to Mark. Please do not type your essay. You must write handwritten. Unless you tell me GCO levels is typing, not written. Then, okay, go ahead. You type, all right? So these are the seven-day course. Uh, if anyone want to join next week, then I a bit, um, not say skeptical, I'll be a bit hesitating to let them join because it's halfway through the course. So you might, don't know what are you going to do. You might be a bit blur. So uh, let's be honest. Seven days, we may not cover most of the things. So last week, uh, uh, Yi Tong, can you please kindly turn on your camera if you can? Yi Tong, uh, Michael and uh, Emily and Shi Xian, Shi Xian, Shi Xian. Um, last week, we talked about grammar and how do we use adjective. So if you want to, you can ask for Uncle Raymond's uh, the details here. Uh, it was also written in my books, A Guidebook to Better English. Uh, this is my books. Do I have? Uh, this is my book. So, uh, this is my version two. I'm doing my creative writing books. On the way, and so this is adjective. What 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 is adjective for? Why adjective is so important? So I need to fly through the, the lessons. Huh? So this we did that. Uh, Greg, last week we did this. Huh? right, Blake. And where is Nigel? Oh, Nigel, right? We did this. Huh? right. Still can remember, right, Nigel. Okay, Nigel. Yeah, okay, no mind, no mind. So this is the order. Huh? So Michael, Michael, if you think, uh, Uncle Raymond, do I need to follow these to write the sentences? By right, you just remember the size, shapes, age, and color in the adjective. The rest is by instinct and, you know, through experience. Honestly, sometimes I also forgot the, the arrangement order, but this is the order that you write, need to write a good sentences. Oh, by the way, hi, Yi Tong, ni hao. <coughs> Hello, 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 Itong. Can you hear me? Can I? Uh? Don't be shy, oh. Okay, don't stress, ah. Uh. Okay, you, you, I'm not because you're late, uh, I'm not going to ask you to stand outside the classroom. <laughs> okay, uh, don't be stressed. Just now I heard from your my colleague that you cannot lock in. Even you can lock in in ten minutes later, late for the class. It's okay. An qian di yi zhong yao. Okay, I got student halfway walking, ah. Uh, in the restaurant eating with family, say, Uncle Raymond, I need to, to lock in. I say, no, no, no. You just turn on your camera, just listen, enjoy your meal with your family members, okay? So this is adjective. Okay, today I'm a bit stay um, a bit longer uh, to cover as much as I can. So, and then the order of adjective. And then, of course, we have done the exercise. And then we need to know proper noun and pronouns, okay? Guys, if you are new, please, for goodness sake, don't write your essay that Nigel is going to the market with his parents. He is going to buy some food. He would like to get something for himself. He will go to the market later on, something like that. What is the he? Please be a, having a proper noun, okay, or, or a name given, which is proper noun. Don't use pronouns, okay, Michael? It's very important, okay? Just like, for example, if I, I, I'm the police officer, I told you, right? So walk on when we are patrolling on the street, somebody says, sir, sir, I saw a suspect. Do you suspect me or huh? Suspect is a common noun, right? You don't know whether it's a male or female. So I asked, uh, sorry, who is that? Oh, it's a man wearing a blue T-shirt, loitering around at the void deck. Okay, so we got the color and size and code, the age. Then we know how to. So when we call back for backup, say uh, a man wearing a blue T-shirt, uh, age, middle age, 30 plus, Chinese, uh, with long hair and tattoo. Then we, this is how we describe. So it's, it's good to have adjective and nouns. Okay, my dream was to be a lawyer. So in a lawyer in the court case, 我的当事人没有罪。我的当事人是这样。the the judge will ask you, I, hello, lawyer, 你的当事人是谁啊？我怎么知道你在里边分组哪一个当事人？ My client, Emily. So my client, Mr. Tan. My client, Mr. Tan. Then you say, Uncle Raymond, 多此一举，画蛇添足. Why you keep repeating? You need, you need to be focused. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you are writing an essay to the law why the Cambridge people is going to mark your paper. Even if it's not in the Cambridge to your school teachers. Some teachers like me are very particular. You need a proper nouns, okay? Don't keep on pronouns, pronouns. You might find it um, 
is it necessary? Yes. Eh? You tell me which one is better. Of course, the proper nouns is better, right? Among nothing wrong with the common noun and pronouns. Uh, why is it important, ladies and gentlemen? It is important, especially when you are doing your comprehension passage. <clears throat> this one, you're going to look through this. Okay, these are all taken from the internet. Okay, it's not done by me. I don't want to get credit on that. Okay. Okay, this is the one you need to know. A lot of this regular, you know, but some of them like collective now. Have you know there's about 200 over collective nouns? As you know, what is the purpose of common now? Uh, the doctor is going to see the patient later and the nurse will come along. I'm sorry. Who is the doctor, male or female? Who is the patient? The patient is it LGBT. Who is the nurse? Sorry, uh, we are living in a new world of this society. Uh, whether you accept LGBT or not. Uh, last week, I attend my son dad conventions. Okay, last week or the week before. This guy looked like an LGBT to me. And I'm sorry, it's you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. And he was a master in architect doing all the design, like you know, Emily the Genshin, you know, the sword and all these things. So nice. Okay, honestly, until today, when my nephew played Genshin and my student played Genshin, I don't know how y'all can play that game. Running, jumping, and that. But I have to appreciate that the designer who design all these games is very important. Then you have to ask me. What could you do in my study? Why you related? Creativity, guys. You're competing with not your class, your school. You're competing with the entire nation and overseas student. You are not a Singaporean student or China student. Please put yourself, you are international students. Okay? Uncle Raymond has worked in multinational companies from many companies, from Fuji Xerox, from Siemens, from all the banks. Okay? And today on my own and running business as well. I'm telling you, if you cannot talk well, good luck to you. Okay, Michael, you agree? You see, the moment you talk to me, I know you're very extrovert, you like to talk. People who don't talk, good luck to you. This word don't, don't, I mean, uh, don't um, appreciate people who don't talk. You can have 7A1, but you cannot present yourself during interview. Hey, sorry, man. Okay, that's common now. Proper now, so it's very important, you see. So, Yi Tong, you say, uh, I have a car. People ask you, what's your car? Mr. Bin car. Oh, then just wait. Then just 好像瞧不起你 可是你讲说, oh, I have a uh, 跑马 跑马是BMW, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, right? BMW So people will link in Hong Kong Why? Sorry, uh, Yitong This is a real world Okay, this is a real world Is it necessary to be that, that way? Yeah, no choice uh. Okay, let's go back I gave my books to Ria to read So which one? The answer is here, right? You see? Ria I gave my book to her to read so who is the her? Imagine the class got five, seven, eight girls. Who is the girl? My teacher gave my book to her to read. So imagine this is a comprehension passage. You'll be confused. Who the hell is her? Why they don't give a proper noun? Okay. I just want to go through a bit fast. Huh? Today we are doing essay. Huh? I'm a very OCD person. If I cannot complete, I feel very awkward. And preposition is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because prepositions is to tell you the preposition. If you break the word down, it's preposition. I ask you all, uh, please, uh, type your answer or, or tell me whether which one is correct. Okay, Emily? She, she, I can't see your face. She and please, uh, Craig, I also can't see your face. And if you want to lie down, just tell me. I'm going to lie down. I need to go to the toilet, just go. Uh. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. If, let's say, uh, break, one day, uh, you, you work, uh, then you tell your son, why? Uh, please wait for, really? Wait for daddy at the school, at the bus stop, in the bus stop, on the bus stop, near the bus stop, beside the bus stop. Michael answers the tweet. <laughs> tell me, Nigel, you tell your, your, your girl and boy, wait for daddy, ready, write down, uh, Great, uh, great. Can you help me to type the answer? Near the bus stop. Beside the bus stop. At the bus stop. Help me to type in the chat before I put Near the bus stop. At the bus stop. Beside the bus stop. Inside the bus stop. Which one is correct? So this is editing. Which one is correct? Michael. Michael. 
Yes. Which is the correct answer? For what? Um, just now I'm asking, let's say you ask your son to say, um, please wait for daddy at the bus stop, near the bus stop, beside the bus stop. At? At the bus stop, huh? not beside, near, cannot, in the bus stop. No. Okay, thank you. Emily? At? At the bus stop? She and? She and, sorry. Which is your answer? Nigel, what is the answer? Um, can we have five second rule? Uh? If within five seconds you cannot answer me for whatever reason, your mouse, you know, your mind is not working, you're doing something, uh, you're not ready to answer. Uh, I will pass to the next speaker, okay? Nigel, what is your answer? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh Greg, what is your answer? Uh at oh Yitong. What is the answer? Mm. And uh, which school are you from, Ayi Tong? Sorry. West Spring. West Spring, in the west side of Singapore. Yeah? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Great. Which answer? Great. What is your answer? Near, beside, at, or in? And. And. Oh, okay. She, uh, Shi Xian, what is your answer? At. And we some book near beside na? Why cannot? Why cannot above the bus stop also? Why cannot be under the bus stop? Hey guys, be creative. Nothing wrong beside. I stand near the bus stop. At the bus stop means you stand in that At the bus stop, at that point. Near the bus stop, you so way, Colin. The bus stop beside or something else that you don't want your son or daughter to be at that particular place, but near that place. Because Kalen, neither neither the show, it's not nice to stop at the bus stop, but near to the bus stop. Because if your car illegally parked at the bus stop, you'll get fined. So near the bus stop, it can be beside the bus stop. Now, beside you have to decide whether what kind of distance are we talking about here. Near the bus stop, also distant. So it's not wrong to say in the inside the bus stop. Why? Because it's raining. So please wait for me inside the bus stop. Huh? In the bus stop, a bit weird, right? Just the like same thing. I'm on the train now. I'm in the train now, which is the correct answer. Okay, we don't talk about this. Huh? Right? You can think, in fact, both answers are acceptable. So type of prepositions is very important. There are 200 of them. If you can master 40 to 50 prepositions, yes, uh, next year, we I have a new <clears throat> syllabus of teaching students how to use this. And of course, every lesson, I do have a mini test as well as uh, others. Uh, uh, exam focus. So on the fifth lessons, those of you uh, who are staying on, you must come to my class on the fifth lesson to Yo Chu Kang Grassroot Club to take your paper to full exam paper at 9.30 at Yo Chu Kang MRT station. Uh, you walk down, it's near at the Grassroot Club. Uh, the cafe is owned by my, my, my sis. Then after exams, you have a free waffle and ice cream. Um, most of my students this year, January and September, about 20 over students came from set one to set four. They will sit down there, literally sit down there and take the exam for paper one and two. And from there, I Uncle Raymond can help to identify uh, to do the words. By the way, you know, guys, if, because this next year, I all set four, for the past two years, I'm not sure you all have mid year or not. A lot of students complain that time management is the one that is a killer, cannot make them because you do not have a proper one hour and 15 minutes to do the paper. I doubt your school do that unless it's after school, okay? So these are the things, the common ones to take notes, all right? In, on, or this, at, okay? Very common, most of the students will say at the bus stop. But please uh, be creative, guys. No more Singapore students or China students. You are international students. The world is at your hand. Please do not focus MOE the way, okay, this, this thing, thing out. That's why this class is all about F. Full of excitement, fabulous, fun, and fantastic, and think like a freak. I told you, I show you this book already. Think like a freak. Please Google it, okay? This Japanese guy took 12 minutes to eat about how many hot dogs and he broke the world record. You must think like a freak. And the next one is called Rich That and Poor That. If you watch TikTok, there's this Tang Lao Shi. 
from China. Because of this book, he changed his entire life. This guy, you have to read these kind of books because you are so competitive. Every year, the exam paper is so tough. Okay. Next, there are 16 tenses. Honestly, which one have you not seen before? My goodness, where got past future continuous tense one? Where got past future perfect tense? Or oh, past future perfect continuous tense some more? I only know the one, the most one to number 10 only. The rest, no. I'm not going to confuse you. If you want to take this to one by one to go through, we don't need to do paper one with this. So I'm just sharing with you this. Because sometimes in your exam, especially editing, that's why I cannot skip uh, Craig and Nigel and uh, Blake. I have to go through this because sometimes in editing, huh? We may have come to this most subject with will plus agreements. He will have he will have been watching the television for 15 minutes. I told that I would leave in one hour. I was told, right? I was told that I would be doing my homework all day long. So what the why do you think all this is important? Because comprehension, all right, and also editing. I know most of the students will not write from 11 to 16, the most one to 10. Okay, as usual, this is not taken from me. Is in the Google. So I, if you really want to score well for English, yes, please. Oh, by the way, I'm not interested in your A1 for English. Uh. Okay, guys, sorry. If you are, are coming here to get A1 for English, wrong. Because I want to train you on this too. You know it's ABC? Michael, you know it's ABC? Your attitude, your behavior, and your characters. So once you're done, you will have this, the D effect. Main thing now, for now till next year, October, is all about discipline. It's all about your devotions, your dedications, the desire to have your dream to score your A1. If you do not have the right attitude, behavior, character, you A1. Okay, I got a student. Uh, uh, who should I call? Uh, Yi Tong, I got a student. Uh, last time in school, he said, uh, Mr. Shang, if I help this old man, my VIA has a point. Greg, I was like, GG. Uh, you I really feel like saying the F word. <laughs> seriously. I really feel like great. Seriously. Eh? This is the wrong right, right? And you know, VIA is very important to y'all to go for JC or Poly. But it's wrong. It's a wrong concept. Don't. Okay. So take note of these 16 things. I'm sorry, guys. You may not get used to how I teach. This is how I teach. Okay. Please argue with me. Okay, I have a lot of students. Zach, Zachary is not here. Zachary has been with me for two years, three years already. So please argue with me. Don't I like the way Craig, um, Michael, when you came in, you talked to me. I'm, I'm I just woke up, I went to sleep, I forgot that. Yes. Everyone have their ups and downs, a lot of things on. This is not even when I'm teaching face to face. Okay, I got in my school, I got student use handphone. I don't care because I'm more caring of the end result. And respect your parents. So take a, take note of all these. Uh, I'm not going to go through this with you. Okay, the future tense. If you want, you can ask for my uh, colleagues for lesson one. And these are the 10 common adverts. Adverts is very important. Uh. It's super important. And we will 100% uh, usually tested, not 100, uh, maybe 90%, will be tested in editing. Uh. Okay, this is very important. Please, if you can uh, ask for lesson one's uh, this. Um, lesson plan okay very important seriously not just because the ly because adverts is like <clears throat> excuse me very close to adjective i feel that adverts and adjectives they are twins are swan bao tai okay adverts of manner ever of times ever of place ever of frequency ever of degrees ever of affirmation and negotiation i'm so sorry i i keep apologizing to y'all because uh this one might take sometime one month to understand this uh. But I just want to give you a head start that when you're writing your essay, your adjective, your ad, uh, editing, your visual graphic text, your even your oral presentations, uh, your two minutes oral presentations. Uh, you, the last lesson, we have an oral presentation. I may be get, getting um, some of my business friends uh, to come in uh, to be the judge of how you present the things. Uh. I may be, uh, just to update you, this is the last lesson. So position of all these things, this is super important, especially for people like us who are working in the police force. Sometimes we need to catch the victim, uh, to help the victims to catch the suspect or to help the auntie, uncle, especially the dementia, allow you, allow them, you eat, uh, 
uh, in Yishun, there's a lot of these poor auntie uncle always lost their way because they are dementia. So you see, we need to help them. So we need to describe and to tell our colleagues how to help these people. Okay. So if you can, you can do this as a homework. All right. So I end my lesson one. So everyone, fair and square. So there are five things, adverb, adjective, prepositions, noun, pronouns, and uh, what else? Yeah, this view. Okay. Now, How to strengthen your paper one editing skills? Okay, let's go. Okay, I have my new method, so I'm not sure, guys. Please pay attention. Huh? Okay, if you are using your handphone wherever you're lying down, please pay attention for this couple of minutes while you're doing that. You please pay. now editing skill. Uncle Raymond has my way of doing editing, so I leave it to you guys whether you like my style or not. If you don't like, by all means, I have student use all the way after they graduated. My got student use halfway, they give up. I got student use halfway, they don't even do that and they are already encrypted in their mind. So how many types of essay are we going to talk about and the situation writing? things, okay? Uh, please, you need to write. In real life, you need to write to people. So uh, Emily, last week, my son wrote this. Uh, uh, my, my elder son is 28 years old. My daughter is 24. My younger son is 11 years old, primary five. So he wrote this in the situation writing. Uh. Dear Emily teacher, okay, so let's say you're there. Dear Emily teacher, I hope this email find you in the ping of hell. The purpose of writing this email is to inform you that blah, blah, blah. That's, sorry, uh, right, uh, Emily. So the teacher sent, return back the paper to my son and circle that ping of hell. So I was wondering what happened. So I forward to the form teacher. Is there anything wrong by writing this? Oh, nothing wrong, Mr. Shaw. But in the informal writing, you can write like that. But formal like writing, you cannot. Sorry, uh, I'm not against him. Uh. It's bullshit. Uh. I've been writing this uh, to my son's principal, to my business partner, to my customer, to my supplier, to anybody. I always like to start this sentence. I hope this email find you in the ping of hell. God bless you and to your, you and your family. Or even at the end of the whole entire email, I will put that. Okay, wishing you and your family a, a good and, and, and fruitful day. I have this student take note now. He wrote this now, right? Nigel, he wrote this in school. The teacher feel him. Thank you, take care, and God bless you. Feel him. Isn't it the situation writing say that you must be courteous, enthusiastic, interesting? So I'm so sorry. I student argue, must I write this? I leave it to you. It's good to have be well mannered. People will lean in Xiang Khan. You don't believe uh, us, all your parents who are working now, definitely are working, and they send email to their counterpart, ask them, Sui Jing, be like Wu Yang. Nandao, you have to do it, uh, what? Get the car, and the car, and the car. Uh, how I hope this email after reading the, this email you will vomit blood and die bye bye see you good luck see you in hell I know it well and I can tell sorry I mean seriously you need to be hey, especially okay I cannot say hey hi bro what's up man your grandparents have went through a lot of ups and downs and shit in their life. Today, you and I can sit here, you must thank them. Especially those grandparents who went to World War II. So why should I study for O-level? I'm very tired. La. Can somebody read to me? La? Michael. Right? Woman she a tongue thing. Mastery. Uh, uh, mastery is of four key areas. Writing comprehension, listening, and oral communication will enable your, cho your child to pass their GCE O-level English with confidence and improve performance in other subjects too. 
The O-level English language paper as a whole can be overwhelming and challenging for most students because of their sheer number of components, as well as the large variety of possible question types and that can be tested within each component mm. that you can end up being tested on. <laughs> hey, brother, brother, I ask you, uh, are you born in Singapore or you're from China? Ch uh, I was born in China, but I came here, I came here since I was two and I didn't went back since... Five. I'm going back this December, last time. No wonder, la, brother, you speak like Singaporean. Ne. Steady, uh, pum pee pee. Uh. <laughs> My dear, <laughs> you're all laughing with you, right? <laughs> this becomes a tool and Bro, nothing wrong with your reading. Uh. But you have to think, uh, I'm training you guys uh, to space the real world. So last Two weeks, you know, you lao wai ah, wai guo You don't need to slang. There's so, a mastery of four key areas: writing, comprehension. By my, my dear, because I'm very sad ah, your oral no no more reading ah. But right, every time there's a comma, you have to pause for one second, full stop, two second, and then next paragraph three second. So yeah, you know the rhythm, and you must have the the dum the dum. I'm not sure all of you can pronounce this word enthusiastically. But this is not today's lesson ah. They are the longer syllabus enthusiastic, enthusiastically, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslovakia. However, ever, never, forever, clever, whichever, whenever, whatever, lao calling. Hu song ta hu, da hu, da hu, xia lao hu, lao hu, po hu. You know, this is why. I'm not asking you to rap like a black guy. Yo, what's up, man? Mastery of four key areas, writing, comprehension, listening. Wow, please. No, ah. Uh. But if you can do that, you are somebody else like MC. Okay? Not everyone can do that. So, my dear Michael, you are doing two minutes. You say, um, today my name is Michael. I would like to share with you what I would like to do. Based on the video, the two minutes video, I can see that um, this person is doing something that I will not ever dare to do it because uh, that takes a lot of bravery as a brave as a lion. Uh, in, in my um, lesson, um, in my books, we call the fist bop. Okay, this is fist bop. It's just like last week I told you about if your mother... Is having a birthday at the age of 59 years old, you bought her a birthday cake. But at the age of 60 years, you want to make a very flamboyant, very wonderful birthday. You buy a birthday cake, you decorate the birthday cake, you buy a present. So you and your wife or you and your husband will want to share this lovely movement with your mommy. That is where Tian Zui, Fabus, Idiom, Similis, Proverbs, and Occupation Places, will, you will not see that in any of your friends or in other tuition. But I know some of you, you are in Nanhua, I think I have some student there and other school, I'm not sure. If the student come to you, fist pop, you know this student is from Uncle Raymond's. Uh, why it is very important. So like, like you no, know, some teachers say no need to add this. No, it's wrong. Huh? I don't agree with that. Okay, thank you, Michael. So you need to tonality. Do you learn music, huh, Michael? I learned guitar for a period of time I stopped. Then you know this uh ought of uh, ought to join. Da, 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 Correct. Uh? Okay, this song. I, uh, I don't uh, learn, I don't learn great. I just learn oh, like... classical music. That is classical. Okay, you know, this song confirm you know one. We have a vision for tomorrow. Correct. You heard this song, right? And National Day, lah, bro. Correct now. Uh? Then you sing Marikita. I think every day you sing Marikita, right? Marikita, yeah. You don't say Marikita, yeah, yeah. Singapura. The tone is already. Right? This is a small small The tonality, ladies and gentlemen, you must bring. During your oral exam, these two teachers are in front of you. They have never heard you speak. So you You must capture the heart and soul. 记住, uh? Okay, Michael. Whether you continue future lesson with me, I don't care. But it's my duty to tell you tonality is very important. Okay? You have a good 你咬字不错, 可是你的那个tone, 那个比较, 不是说很有 up and down. Okay, thank you. Can I have um Shien, can I can I have the next one with you, please? Shi Shi Xian, can I have the next two paragraphs? Can you read to the next two paragraphs? Thank you. Uh, I can't hear you. Can you, can you unmute your mic, please?
Yeah, I can't hear you, my dear. Can you unmute your mic? The old level English. It's old level English art. You did not unmute your mic. Ah, okay, thanks. sorry, sorry. No problem. Hey, don't the old level, the oh, old level English language paper as a whole can be overwhelming and challenging for the most students because of the sheer number of components as well as a large variety of pos uh, possible question types that can be tested within each component that you can end up being tested on. So is it hard? No. Every subject, take it like they are your workers. You are running a business. So English is like your main worker. the supervisor. So is it really hard? I wouldn't say it's hard. Is it tough? Yes, certain parts. But exam is always like that. No such thing as easy. Carry on next paragraph, please. So O-level English paper one, exam accounts for 35% of students' O-level English grade. The paper has three sections, a one hour and 50 minute time limit, and a total score of 70 marks. In this section, students must identify and edit grammar mistakes in a brief writing paragraph. Written paragraph. So you see, if you are not sure how many parts of this paper, please take note. Until I have students, I taught them for four years. Uh, and this year only, uh, I, they are taking their own level. Say, um, do you know how many parts they don't know? Leh. Oh my goodness, seriously, please. You need to know that. Okay? So there are three parts. Uh, there's a strategy to, to do with this paper. Editing do not spend more than 10 minutes. Huh? And for, for goodness sake, don't write the situation writing for more than four or five hundred words. Huh? Thank you, Xuan. Very good. Uh, as usual, tonality. How do you get an A in English or O level? Which is, I, I, I actually, I'm not really interested in getting A. But it's your passion. Once you love the subject, you A. May I have um here are some tips, huh? Uh may I have thank you? Which part? Yeah? Oh. Know the exam format. Knowing the exam format is essential. Please, huh? for goodness sake, all of you. Take note now, next year is really important. You must Okay? Let's go. Create, create a study schedule. A well-maintained schedule helps you keep track of your progress and manage your timeline. That's why I hope all of you, thank you, hold on. Now. I hope all of you do not miss your class. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, you must have a timetable placed right in front of your desk at home and follow it. If you fail the plan, plan to fail. It's not practice make perfect. Huh? No, uh, Yitong. It's perfect practice make perfect. You can 100 times throwing the, shooting the arrow, but the arrow never hit the blue eye. And can tell you, Lao Shi, what you need see now, every time I practice. But do you hit the blue eye? Do you have a lot of people? Do you have a lot of people? Do you have a lot of people? Do you have a lot of Think about it. Your life is so short. You see, as an English teacher, I love Chinese. Uh. I always tell my own children, uh, you can feel my English signs. Uh, 你鸡蛋糕, 你feel我的Chinese, uh, 你就完蛋了。为什么, Blake, 很简单。我们都是华人, Raymond, Emily。他跟我讲种子是burger。I got one student tell, tell him 种子是washburger. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, no? That student is an IB student. IB. Not IP, uh, it's IB. Okay, international paragraph. Carry on, uh, Nigel. Nigel. I mute your mic, huh? Thanks. Okay, like, Nigel, let's go. How can I improve my English paper? Here are some simple steps that you can take to improve, improve your written English and impress people with your writing skills. One, expand your vocabulary. To express yourself clearly, you need to 
you need a good active vocabulary. This year, so, I sorry, uh, one by one, don't mind. Uh, this year, I managed to get my set four student to learn as many vocab as possible. Because uh, I just checked later, I'll show you the papers. They are getting tougher of vocab words. So uh, I got one of my friends uh, who did that. Uh, he last time many he really studied the whole entire dictionary. Now, uh, if I say you cannot go to toilet, how? Huh? Go lah, can go one. Don't worry. Okay, let's go. Next one, Nigel. So master English spelling. You know I got dyslexia. When I every time I wrote on the board uh, or write on the board board uh, I cannot take it. I cannot, I have to look at the paper. And my, my students say, Uncle, uh, Mr. Shang, Uncle Raymond, isn't you an English teacher? Why you cannot? I cannot be like here. Blade, if you don't believe in Yitong, Michael, she ends, Emily, Nigel, and Craig, you don't believe, take a piece of paper now, put on your forehead, and then write your name. You know what's dyslexia, right? Yitong. That means your D and the B always cannot. So dyslexia student, who can share Hua Wen you take a piece of paper, put here and write your name. Emily, you write your name out E, how you spell M, I, and I'm kind of. You don't say ma. Because I always um tell my student, you have to understand. I think Li Kuan Yu also dyslexious. Because we have Xie Xi Zhang Ai. Okay, I in my previous school, I like to, to work with autistic kids. They are not autistic, they are just special in terms. So don't believe you write, no? Emily, Michael, Craig. A non kind of handwriting. Last one, my dear, Nigel. Ah, uh, no, uh, really, uh, this one here, read. Read regularly. Oh, you're waiting for me. Yes, you need to read regular. That's why in my lesson, I always have passage for my student reading. After reading, then we, uh, we do the comprehensions to understand every single paragraph. Next one. Improve your grammar. As you saw, the 16 different types of uh, past, present, future, then. And just do it. Nike. Next one. Uh, uh, Nigel finished the six. Is it six? Huh? Do I have the seven and eight? Uh, six and eight. Okay. Let's go. Eight steps to ace your English language test. It's not eight. Uh, it should be six and eight. Okay. Carry on. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Work out the practical details. Practice does make perfect. No, it's practice, practice does make perfect practice. Okay, sorry. This one is a copy from the... Okay, let's go. Um, purchase a test-specific textbook or prep guide. Scribble down a new word every day, challenge your ears by listening to podcasts, watch TV shows or film without subtitles. Have you seen this word now? I just sent the word to all of you. Have you seen this word? If you have seen this word, thumbs up. She and Emily, Blade, Scratch, Yitong, Michael, Nigel, have you seen this word before? Hey, don't play cheat. Ah. <laughs> don't Google. Ah. Me, ah. Blade. Okay, now you can Google it if you want to. In Chinese, uh, 一同就是我为了三餐而生存。你的父母亲就是整天就是一个living。风雨无阻,日晒雨林,去外面打工,去外面讨生活,回来就是把饭菜换给你们吃, 一个living. It's a very beautiful word, simple and beautiful word, okay? Have you seen this word as well? Paradigm shift. Take note of this. Paradigm shift is very important, Emily. 以前的人是用打字机, typewriter, right? 现在是用computer. 接下来是用什么? iPad. No need to type. Paradigm shift is from old school of thoughts to a new school of thoughts. 以前是坐三轮车跑得快, 现在也是三轮车, 可是是e-scooter. 懂吗? 这些字用在里面很好很好用 OK, paradigm shift So uh, uh, Michael and Nigel, all of you, Blades and Crates and Yi Tong and Xi and, and Emily If you can use this kind of word in your oral, cool man Next one, my dear Number four, please, Nigel 
scribble down a new word every day. I already give you two new words already. Okay, number five. Challenge your ears by listening to podcasts. Okay, guys, please do this. Go and watch this one in YouTube. You will help you in your two minutes presentation. Trust me. Go and watch this. Trust me. Okay, trust me. Seriously, Shark Tank. Another one is a Dragon Den. That one is a British. And it will test you in your listening comfrey. Okay, these two. This is, you go and watch and then tell me uh, next week. Why? Watch TV shows and films, yeah? Uh, without subtitle. So my son, uh, Emily, my younger son, uh, my two elders, very good in their Mandarin, their Chinese. My younger son, Chao Mei, Chao Mei, that's in Chao Mei. Wu Zi is a house, that gave me five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. I gave him ten, you know? Then I just read that uh, example, is uh, Chuang Qian Ming Ye Guan, Chuang Qian Ming Ye Guan. I said, oh, my house has a guy from abroad. Then no, no. So now, now, he can't look at Minecraft, can't look at Mr. Beast. YouTube. They say, now in Singapore, there's who's next, next that, they say. Now, he can see, Mr. Chief, let's go. Wu Gong said, Zhu Ba Jian said, Mr. Chief, I don't want to go. Zhu Ba Jian said, Han San said, Mr. Chief, let's go. 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 很丢脸，哎，而且啊，对，我的姓是宋哎，唐宋燕明清，搞不好我以前是古代的人，宋朝的宋，我怎么可以丢进宋呢？而且 I'm very particular in China history， OK， 所以现在这整天是师傅说，蜈蚣说，<笑>口是嘛 ？And guess what, Blake? His feel is Chinese 啊 ，Paper two confirm 可不可以？ But surprisingly, he's oral and listening fast. Like, so, so, this, every day, 整天看那个《西游记》呢，跟他讲华文呢，万书啊。That is the. Ah,、uh, can you write down this word, please, guy? Please. What is SSD? Ah,、uh? write down. Ah,、uh? write down. Ah.、Uh, can I ask? Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, Yitong to help me type the word slowly, surely, and definitely. Okay. Slowly and surely, definitely. Gradually, 慢慢的 You can use this surely, slowly, surely, slowly, surely, and definitely. So you have to take note of this one. Okay, I want to go quickly. Ah,、uh. thanks. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, Yitong, if you can type SSD to the class. Okay, so editing one hour and fifteen minutes. Everything situation writing, continuous writing. Ah,、uh. so total is seventy marks, thirty five percent of paper. Ah,、uh, if you're handing to me your homework, ah,、uh, I mark at fifty percent. Yitong, are you able to type type for them? So how to score ninety five in English class? That's not for me, ah.、Uh. This is from Google. Thank you, Yitong. Very good. So take you see you learn more than this is a three very simple word. Oh yes, ah,、uh, Emily, can you type so then how? So then how? Don't mind you be my as ah、uh, me so ah secretary. So how do you score? Understand the syllabus. This is my job to help you. Effective study plan. This is also my job to help you. Okay, reading comprehension. This is my job also to help you to bring comprehension passage. Thank you. Please take now this treat. So then now, ah,、huh? it's called S T H, ah,、huh? something. So grammar and vocab. This is also that I need to help you. Writing skill. This one I can help you, but you must commit yourself to Uncle Raymond to your future to your life. Mission and vision. This month in my class for my set one to set four class. Every month I have different topics, and this month is talking about leaders and mission. So, what is your mission in life? So, literature analysis. Some of you are taking English literature. I love literatures, especially Shakespeare. To be or not to be. Okay. So, next practice paper. Yes, mock paper. Last, in in fact, ah, honestly, ah, ah, Michael and ah, ah, Xie. I I don't like to chase student homework one. You want to do, do. You don't want to do. I don't care. You understand what I mean? I want the passion. 
，我不要你写作，我可以知道啊 b l a k e 我可以知道啊，你是今天做的功课交给我，还是你做的时候是三天前做的这个功课给我？你你你 ，your parents don't need to tell me one. I know hundred percent accurate a b l a k e 我可以感觉到啊，因为我教书这么多年了。我可以感觉到这个文章是前几天写的，还是今天所谓啊临时抱佛脚写的 ？I can tell one, and I don't like 啊 ，I don't like this kind of things 啊。Imagine play， 你的功能一个已经是未雨绸缪做给你了，另另外一个是啊做一天和尚挑一天钟 ，It lasts me do for you. Hey, come on, man, bro. You're not going to pay this kind of salary to the person 呢、啊、，who is not committed to for your company. True, true 呢。If you are not committed to your own writing, please then don't hand in the lousy homework 啊。我没有脸见你父母亲哎，我没有脸见你父母亲 ，That's why 我没有脸跟你父母亲拿那个学费啊。Because 我们约法三章好吗 ？If you want to continue my tuition E， 你要孝顺父母。I ever threw out a student out of my class and really scold him very badly 啊 ，Because he he made his mom cry。那个是我干儿子啊。第二，你做人要诚实啊。If you are not honest, don't be my student 啊。第三。你要把你学到东西发扬光大，帮人。我要做啊、呃，我要做孔子，哎，我要做孔子梦，我要做啊、呃，孔子对，我要做孔子。可是我要教出九千个孔子，就是你，我不要做那个孔子。孔子有三千个徒弟 ，only one hundred of them are quite popular. One of them is 孟母三千。可是每个人只知道孔子。可是他们那那三千多个徒弟呢 ？I don't know. I really do some research. Not many are very popular. So I want to make you as the nine thousand Kongzi. So people will remember not me, remember you, because you going to pass this to your next few generations. That is how to make the world better. That is called leader. Leader stand for lead everyone and don't expect return. Show how I perform. That is the word called leadership. One more time. If you write down L E A D E R S H I P, it's lead everyone and don't expect return. Show how I perform. That's leadership. The time management is the worst that you cannot do it. Tips for the examination every day. Ask yourself, wake up, be positive thinking. Don't tell me, Uncle Raymond, I'm suck lah. I'm very weak in this subject. No more negative. Please, no more. And please don't blame yourself hundred percent. Ah, you don't deserve to take hundred percent blame. Ah. Okay, I a student ah, great. I'm telling you ah, halfway through ah, the grandmother passed away. 不可以送终 Okay, halfway through the mama 中 chemotherapy 死掉 Okay, I got student ah, 晚上啊不能回家，因为他父母亲闹离婚了，要睡在 Bishan Park 啊 Okay, I got 父母亲 father 进去江阴 prison 啊，妈妈跑掉啊，妈妈死掉啊，三十晚啊。没有吃团年饭呢、啊，要回家没有电呢、啊，买了那个 Seven Eleven 那个杯杯面回家，跟他的母亲啊，母亲那个那个佛多一起吃饭呢、啊。OK， so think about it 啦、啊。我们是在身在福中不知福啊， so we have to ask yourself be positive。so sometimes is environment， sometimes is parents 大人的错， sometimes is 社会的错。Look at Israel and Hamas. Yesterday, I just listened to the news. 三个婴儿生刚刚生出来就炸死了 Just newborn, eh? Was killed immediately, eh? Why, why are you telling me this? This appreciative life. So when you write essay like this, ah,、uh, you bring tears. And I always read this essays written by my student. Ah,、uh, I cannot take it. I will surely cry. And most of students will surely cry. Because the essay is very very touching, okay. You can go to my website and see if you want to. Seeking help, yes, that is definitely for sure. Now editing skills, okay. Um, this one you read yourself lah. Okay, don't mind ah. This one you read yourself ah. So so then how you see Emily? You see that Emily? Since you are the one who writes, so then how can you read to the class, please? Thank you. Um, the what is editing skill? No, you the one you read the so what is yeah correct 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 yeah. Um, part one, people one, writing skill. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. Oh, oh, oops. Um, so what is this editing story talking about, and what it tells me? Give a title, not more than five words. Then what are the words that I need to look out for? Is the story past, present, or what tenses? 
how do I know which notes are being deleted or not deleted? Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, next one, method two, please. I call this editing called GPS. I do not know what your teachers taught you in school, what kind of formula or methodologies they use. I call GPS. Let's go. Emily? Um, one, grammar. Number two, preposition. In, on, between, under, opposite, beside. Oh, sorry, uh, grammar is the the, and, and, uh. Usually they like the test, this one. And then the PPM. Um, PPS stands for, write down, uh, PPS stands for past, present, and future tense. This is article. They like to test you this. Uh, when do we use article? For example, when do we use N? When do you use the? When you use uh? N is A I O U. Uh, but university, we don't use an N university. We use the university. Next one. Structure include spelling like color or color. Yeah. Organization. Which one is British? Uh? Which one is British? The one is the. Zoom? Yes, just remember, huh? The American always like to shorten it. Well, the British is a proper spelling. Let's go. Then you ask me, Uncle Raymond. So what should I do in exam? Should I write the C O L O R? Because I watch a lot of American movie. I'm so sorry, huh? We are talking about British Cambridge examinations. Back to you. Um. Take note of the S and the Z, huh? Okay. Okay, never mind. Wrong structure. John's are a boy who like to play. So obviously, it's no, it's is. And then drinking, go, drink, go down. Emily, how you say in Chinese? Drink, go down. <laughs> Jump, go down. You swim, go down. Of course, you will laugh, right? i <laughs> No, huh? Take note, huh? Okay, uh, Michael, you might be laughing. Oh, no. But this is most of the time my students make that mistake. Huh? So it's drink it. That's all. Next one. Uh, um, reach page two or three times. Once you start reading the passage at the back of your mind, you must start to pick up, identify and check for any mistake or take to the level. Check for your your Wi-Fi is lagging, distorting. Never mind. So just take note. Thank you. Uh, why read two or three times? Don't ever do editing. The moment you have your editing, don't straight away do it. Uh. You will be a very very stupid things. Don't. Uh. And then let's look at this one here. Okay, let's do this exercise. May I have? Yi Tong, can you read to the class, please? Last summer. I can't hear you, Yitong. Last summer, Regina Chungo and her husband Chris were on board a yacht cruising around the Mediterranean but the idyllic reading scene was interrupted when they spotted something on the sea. My husband and I were on the deck and we saw a winter jacket floating in the water like a ghost, said Regina. They asked the captain how it ended up there. His face became very dark, but he said probably this person who was wearing it is not with us anymore. They realized it had probably belongs to one of the thousands of migrants who try to cross the Mediterranean to reach Europe. Stop. Thank you. You, you seldom read a lot, right? You don't correct me. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, good luck to you. Not sarcastic. Then, good luck to you. I look at you. You are not a good girl. You are excellent, wonderful girl. But because of your reading, I think you're afraid. If you're like this, I'll tell you. So, you think that you will interview later, if you say that, it will be an advantage, not fair. So, you must be brave. 
okay, must be brave. So, can can try to, you see, uh, oral two minutes, uh, you don't care. Now, it's no more reading. No. Reading, you still can hope to read at best. The two minutes, uh, if you cannot present, uh, you cannot, I cannot hear you well, good luck to you. Ming Bai Ma, Yi Tong. So, 对着镜子讲话, 以前我也是很怕在群众 of audience to read. Uh. Okay, I'm going to remember read the rest to all of you. So, tell me, uh, Nigel, Blake, Greg, Chien, Yi Tong, Michael and Emily, see whether Reader number one is good or not. Okay? Ready, yeah? I start from here. Uh. 1889. Uh. 1889 have died in this water since the start of the year. 1,600 of them since the beginning of June, according to the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. Student A, uh. good or no good? If you good, thumbs up. No good, thumbs down. <laughs> okay, all thumbs down. Hey, Emily, don't do that. Give me a hand. I first read, you thumbs down. Okay, fine. B, uh, ready? 1889 have died in this water since the start of the year. 1,600 of them since the beginning of June, according to the United Nations Refugees Agency, UNHCR. Cannot. Use a thumbs up. Blade, blade. Wow, wow, good job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're so good. 1,889 have died in this water since the start of the year. 1,600 of them since the beginning of June, according to the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. The definition movements for the couples came soon after when they saw Pope Francis on television, calling on entrepreneurs to help those at need. We look at each other me and my husband, and we say, let's do something. You need to read like that. Agree? The third one will be better, right? Like, don't tell me the third one, your thumbs down, uh, I kill you. <laughs> uh, so you have to have the rhythm. Now, uh, Yi Tong and Emily, so don't mind, I target the two girls here, not because I'm not, I don't like you. You realize I got this black, black thing cut, uh, 你听过这个成语吗? 我来test你啊 G.E.什么? 所以可以跟我unmute跟我讲 G.E.什么? 来咧,看你们华语也好吗? 随时高华来跟我讲 I prove to you, you must think twice. Ji yi fan san, san shi he hou xin. San wu shen mo. Ting ge ma? San wu chen xin, ken du wang? San wu chen xin, dui ma? San xin, liang yi. Dui bu dui? Nen jia jiang shi yi jian shuan diao, wo yi jian san diao. Never they have two options now, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself three options. The two is the main one. The third one is your backup plan. Your <laughs> okay, now the reason why I cut three here. Now I want you guys now to do this, okay? Can take a piece of paper and circle it, and uh, there are two thick. So tell me, like last summer, comma, when you see a comma, let's be uh, please pay attention for this one. Please pay attention. If you like it, use this method. You don't like it, just forget it, okay? When you see a comma, you just cut. Then you do, 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 do. every three words are cut. Or I call it <coughs> cut every three words. Cut, cut. See this next line? Cut, cut. You see comma? Comma, I will cut. As long as you've got punctuation, you cut. So you check now, within these three words, you may have GPS, you may have grammar, prepositions, or structures. Like this one, I cut already. Yeah? I see... In this water, 
那个音啊，对吗？好、哦，一通音对吗？你要看啊 ，Emily， 你看到吗 ？In 吗 ？Is it on above under inside this water？ 明白吗？所、so, 以你要这样 practice。所以是为 cut， you can tell it is 比较容易分门别类啊。Okay， to compact compartment compartmentalize or categorize。Okay。Hey, you're you're supposed to do this, oh, please, to Maya. I want to see whether this method works for you, oh. So I already done for you the cutting of trees, three, three, three words, ah. So the first one is confirm nothing wrong. So from this line here all the way here. So like this one, ah, ah. 是呃，是是是选，你看那个是选，你看到这个 after 吗？啊，到底是这个错呢，还是这个 can 错 ？OK， and then 这个是 when 错呢，还是 saw 错？那这个 day 是 refer to who？ That's why I say I don't like this day when the couple saw。So day 就是当当然是这个 couple 啦，就是前面这两个 couple 做那个游艇的。啊、uh, ， ladies and gentlemen， if you do not know who is Pope Francis 啊， is the highest。最高的那个 priest or bishop in the Catholic 啊 ，OK? Because Uncle Raymond is a Catholic 啊 ，I'm a Christian. A Catholic 很容易记得啦，就是 in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 所以每次我都讲头痛、肚子饿、心痛 ，Amen. <laughs> OK? I don't say in the name of Father and Son. Anyone Christian here? Anyone Catholic here? No. So Pope Francis is a cat a Catholic. Ah,、uh, we have the The largest one of the largest populations as a Catholic, one billion followers. Uncle Raymond is 其中的一个烂 followers， 没有 teachers。对，我们我每天 teachers 就是看女孩子给老婆打。<laughs> okay. Oh yes, Nigel. Um, I'm Christian. Oh, you're Christian, but you're not Catholic, right? Are you? So your Christian, you don't do in the name Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, correct? Right.、Um, I do. You do? I don't know what's the difference between Catholic and Christian. Oh, Catholic is the the cross got Jesus on it crucified. If oh, your cross, okay. Not, if your cross don't have Jesus because Jesus 上天了 okay, and then Catholic got Mother Mary. Ah,、uh, it's supposed to be Mother Virgin Mary. Ah.、Uh. Okay, because Mary and Joseph do not have sex to give birth to Jesus, so God give tell Mary to take over the pregnancy to give birth to Jesus. But you see, ah,、uh, Niger, because 以前的人啊，如果你 pregnant， 你没有 husband， 就是好像很 adultery， 对吗？很很很罪过 ，so they cannot. Yeah, Orthodox is different, my dear. It's another type. It's not really uh that one is to 比较 staunch 一点 In my opinion, 就比较比较 more serious 啦，跟我们 Catholic Friday 不可以吃肉哦。可是我每次 Friday order 鸡饭，那我吃完鸡饭，我 Sunday 去跟 Jesus 讲，我 send send 一个 email 给 Jesus， dear Jesus， sorry， your son very hungry， I love the 海南鸡饭。Then Jesus reply， son， 这不是第一次了，阿弥陀佛。<laughs> And sorry Niger， this is Uncle Raymond， okay， this is how I communicate with my God。I do pray for every day. Every day, ah,、uh. ah,、uh, the reason I start to pray every day, ah,、uh, Niger is one of my friend who just passed away. She, he's actually um, uh, uh, Soka S O C A, Japan person, Japan person. So one day we went business trip. Ah,、uh, he was in the room. He was praying to his God. At that moment, I was like, Oh yeah, huh? The more you pray, ah,、uh, Niger, God will bless you more. Trust me, and it really works in miracles. In 2015, Niger,、uh, the rest cannot hear us lah because I mute their ear with it. Ah, so just between me, me and you, Niger. So 2015, ah, before I resign from my MOE, I nearly want to commit suicide. I'm telling you, my life was so sucks. And then in 2021, ah, when the COVID started to open, I nearly was killed in the car accident. My car turned 360 degree at the expressway. Right? Ma, God don't need us. We need God. That's why they always, always say ah. 平时不烧烧香，临时抱佛脚。在古代的人讲这些话都非常有含义，个 meaning 说。所以，来就 ，if you have got something you are stressed, especially next year, pray to God. 
talk to God. And then every day wake up, God, give me the positive vibe. God, please pray for my family. The more you do good things, uh, Nigel, the more blessing will not necessarily go to you. I think you also want the blessing to go to your parents. You know, right? So like the same thing. I don't need a blessing. I think it's so much blessing. Uh, I joined gang. I smoked when I was primary school. I mean, secondary school. I love smoking a lot. I hate to drink alcohol. I am a bad time. I, I even went to Changi prison twice. The first time I was visiting the Changi prison. The second time I brought my student to Changi prison. Okay. Ah, okay, guys, are you done? So, Nigel, thanks for sharing. Huh? Okay. Don't give up. I know it's going to be very stressful when January starts. Uh. Trust me, it's going to be a lot. Okay? So, we sin ku ho tian, zhe qi hua mei you chuo. Nigel, I'm just telling you. Uh, I, Uncle Raymond got two degrees. Uh. I got five diploma. So, last year, I want to take my law degree. And the government pay me a lot like, because I'm a Singaporean, Nigel. Auntie Christine, my wife, taught me. Because the moment I study, I uh, was So, I still don't give out, Nigel. I'm still looking for my third master degree. Uh, guys, can you write this word down, these three words? Thanks to Nigel, write down these three words, please. Okay. This will be very useful for your social study. Learn, relearn, unlearn. And this one, life, long learning is in your social study. Lifelong learning. You have to learn new things, Nigel. You learn, right? Then they later say, eh, how come Uncle Raymond, the way he teach and my school teach and the, my other tuition teach is different? Then you relearn already. Then later you see, you got your school teach you, the other tuition teach you, your, you teach yourself, Uncle Raymond teach you. Then you have to unlearn to find which is the best way to achieve. Remember, don't try our Yi Tong and Emily. If you try, you will cry. Everything will dry. Do your best with all the zest. Beat the test to win the rest from east to west and be top of the crest. Do your best with all your zest. Because you need this word here. Hey, sorry. Wait. Right? Type too fast. This word. Zero. This is the last alphabet and the most powerful alphabet with the words zero. Do you have the passion of Shishen, Yitong, Michael, Emily, Nigel, Blades, and Greg? Okay, done? Because next week, I'm not teaching you anything. I want to see your essay. Ta -da! Shiena and Krena, all of you listening, uh, Michael, if you don't trust Uncle Raymond that in editing there's repetitions, uh, you are absolutely wrong. Repetition is the most important. That's why I choose the Wu Da Tian. Uh. And you know what, uh, Michael? Every time I come out these ideas, uh, I'm always in the toilet. We all say, Blade, stop it. Uh. Hey, Blade, you remember that you were talking about the Forget. Huh? Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget you Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget already. Forget only for higher Chinese. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, I know. I test you, must see whether you're alert. <laughs> yeah. Michael, you're GG, right? <laughs> I'm higher Chinese. Then, which one can't tell you? I'm going to be Chinese. You don't want to. Oh, hey, great, great. That's a Jin Zi. That's like a Zhu Ge Liang. That's like a Shan Zi. Come, 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 come. Wow, it's really the Tan Lan Bu Tan, Huan Chie Zai Ho. 哇,真的是另眼相看啊 OK, got the answer already, huh? don't mind, move on huh? 
If you need the answer, let me know. Uh, please, uh, guys, um, whether you continue my, my tuitions or not, other things, that is secondary or third. If you can, uh, please dig out your past preposition. Uh. Hey, no, sorry, what am I talking? Dig, dig out your past editing and use to cut every three. Remember, if there's a comma, you have to cut. A like, comma, full stop, you have to cut already. Okay, you see the comma, full stop here. And then like this, uh, full stop, you see, there's a full stop here. So, you see, full stop is only two words. So, it's one, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, full stop, cut. Okay? So, reason is, uh, oh, yeah, write down this one. 12 to 15 words. This is my formulas for every, every sentence. If you don't trust me, uh, guys, you can read at the, any newspaper, any blogs, any online news. Uh, you realize out of the whole entire essay or few paragraphs, uh, uh, Michael, there you will be 70% that is within 12 to 15 words. So nothing wrong. Uh. Let, let's let's play this game. Uh. Michael is a good boy. Nothing wrong, right? Five words, uh, right? So, but if I put that Michael is a good boy who likes to help his parents to do housework. You see? That gives you a better idea. Emily is a girl who likes to go to school with his good friend every morning. Yi Tong and his family. No, cannot put Yi Tong and her family. Uh, uh, Yi Tong's family and her will like to go to overseas to visit her grandparents. So Yi Tong, recently I got these twins. Uh. Very sad. Uh. Last year, the grandmother... So where are you going for holiday? I'd like to go to France, to England, or maybe to other parts of the world. Say, why not you go to China and visit your wife? That moment, uh, Yitong, the two boys was like stunned. London Bridge, I saw Paris Eiffel Tower. You got a lot of time in your world to see. But your grandfather got limited time for you to see. And your grandfather now is alone. Your mom has to fly here, fly there. Think about it, two of you. When your grand when your parents are old, what about what about them? You know, next week, uh, Eton, they come back. Uncle Raymond. Both of us decided that this holiday on the seventh, on the eighteenth of November, we're going to Chongqing to see my oh Beijing, Beijing, to see my grandpa. I stand, I stood up, I bowed to them because they came to my house for tuition. I bowed to them. In school, the student don't stand up and bow to me, Ito. In school, I stand up, I bow to my student first. Why? Because the three of 就算你迟到,你生病,你还来学校读书,that show that you respect your parents. I will have to respect you. That's very important. 12 to 15 words, huh, guys. Take note, huh? 很好用的. Nigel will like to go holiday with his wife and his children this coming November holiday. You see? If I put Nigel would like to go holiday, nothing wrong, but it would add in a few more words that would beautify your sentence. Just take note, from now on, write 12 to 15 words. Okay, Blake, my eldest son now is 28 years old. When he was in primary 2 to JC1, he wrote about 8,000 sentences. My daughter, 6,000. My younger son is coming to 1,000 sentences. But now I changed for him to write Chinese word. Memorize Chinese word. 地址规很重要。真的地址规很重要。一定要背好,成语一定要背。You know, I'm sorry, uh, but you have to understand Uncle Raymond like to study brain. So where I was in, uh, I like to learn about the brain, the right brain. There's no such thing as left brain and right brain. Uh, nonsense. Uh, to me, it's a whole brain. So once you improve your memory, uh, okay, it's just like, you know, bodybuilder, right? Once you beef out your, your, your system, uh, you can have better immune system, okay? Now, let's move on to situation writing. Uh. A lot of things to share with you, uh. Why we need situation writing skills and, and, and is it why is it important, right? Craig, can you read to the class? The purpose of situational writing. Huh? Why there is that to situational writing word? Oh, the purpose of situation writing, I think, is copy. Okay. Yes. Okay. The purpose of situational writing presents 
you with real-world scenarios such as formal letters, emails, reports, or speeches that require specific responses. You must put yourself in the shoes of a protonist and write from their perspective while maintaining an appropriate tone and style. It's pronounced as protagonist. Now, there's two in this world, Haoren and Huaren. Protagonist is pro, ma. As long as you see the word pro means good people. If you see the word antagonist, bad people. Great is like, hey, hello, great. Can you stop it? No? I don't like you. Can you don't antagonize me? No? Ah, antagonist. Just to do Ah, So great. Thank you very much. You're such a protagonist. That means you're a good Okay. Next one. Great. Why is writing skills important in English? Writing has become the number one way we communicate with others. It has now become the primary way we gather information and interact and connect with others. Improving your written communications al allows you to confidently communicate with everyone. Writing is often the first impression that others have of us. You see the word communicate already, guys? Please look at the word communicate. See... OMM, come on, mouth, mouth. You and I can always talk effectively. Get it? Communicate. If you do not know how to spell, you say, come on, mouth, mouth. You and I can always talk effectively. In order to impress other you need to express yourself well so that you don't feel depressed of what you do and you don't feel stressed one more time huh? ready in order to impress others you have to express yourself well so that both party will not feel depressed and you will not feel stressed make sense Nigeria, make sense you see in order to impress yourself as a christian you need to express love to the one that you love so that your loved one will not feel depressed and you will not feel stressed because you know God, Jesus Christ, is there for you. Because you put on your zest to beat the test of the 40 days when Jesus was in the desert. Back to you. Next one, my dear. Great. What are the different ways of situational, situational writing? Situational formats. Okay, so should write okay, never mind. Uh, this one we cut with because of time. Uh. So take note of all these things. Uh. I think this one have been inside out uh, by now. Set four, you should know what is this. Uh. Okay, last year was not uh this year was not article. I think it's an informal or formal letter. Okay. So inside this one, I will share you more that uh there's a formula for that. Okay. So same thing. This is the homework that your guys need to do. Yeah, to I leave it to you. You want to do both, you want to do all, I leave it to you. This is from uh uh, the GCO level 2024 format in the SEAB board, uh, writing uh, in the uh, Singapore Cambridge Examination Board. So you should look. Uh, may I have uh, uh, this one? Uh, Blade, can you read to the class, please? Oh, back to you. You should. Uh, you should look at the printout of a web page in the insert. Read the information carefully and plan your answer before you begin to write. You and your cousin are planning to do something together during the next long school vacation. Your cousin has shortlisted three activities from a website for students and has asked which one you would prefer to do. Your cousin is happy to do any of the three activities. You write an email to your cousin stating your first choice and giving reasons. Write an email to your cousin saying which activity you should prefer to do and why. Second, how you think you would both benefit from doing this activity. Third, why, what factors your parents would consider in approving your choice. You may add any other details you think will be helpful. Write your email in clear, accurate English and in a friendly, enthusiastic tone to explain your choice to your cousin. You I should use Zoom. Hiran, Hiran, you should. You should use your own words as much as possible. Sorry for interrupting you. I, I prefer friendly, enthusiastic and encouraging tone. 
friendly, encouraging, and enthusiastic. Don't take note. No. And you realize I call it the rough. Okay, I don't know what your teachers rough. Okay, Wu Mu Zhou are rough. The R stands for your role. A stands for who is the audience. So you're writing to your cousin or audience. And the F will stand for the format, which is an email. And the email is an informal. And what is your tone? The tone will be this one. Friendly, encouraging, and enthusiastic. You need to encourage your, your cousin, Ma. Then what is the S? S is this one here, the situations. Okay, that is my formula. Huh? Your role has a cousin writing to the audience, also your cousin. It can be your biao ge, biao di, biao mei, biao jie. And the F will be the format, which is informal email, the tone. Of course, this one here. Of course, you can add in your fist spot. Uh, 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 So these are the format here, take note, during the rough. Okay, so there are many formats. I leave it to you. See, I got craft some more. So you see, Uncle Raymond will give you all the format. If you play COD, Call of Duty, you know when to kill your enemy with a long, uh, long range, you use a machine gun, a sniper, but when you, uh, and a and grenade. But in a close range, you use a knife, a shotgun, you don't use a mazooka or use a grenade. You kill your enemy, you kill yourself. Stupid, right? So all the methods given to you, I let you decide which one you want to use. Okay. So there are seven stuff. So now you, there you are. Okay. Tone. Okay. So there's a quick one. So this one, as usual, the introductions, second paragraph, third paragraph, and fourth paragraph. Okay. Usually my idea is five paragraph. I leave it to you. Some of them will put um, all the ideas into one paragraph, introduction, all ideas, and then conclusion. Uh, Nigel, I think I don't know about you. Uh, I feel that it's not very appropriate. Ah, uh, Xian, uh, Xi Xian, sorry, Xi Xian, Mister Jiao Xin Yan. Because I have a student called Xin Yan. Ah, Xi Xian, oh, you get me now. All right. So, Craig as well as Yitong and Michael. Michael is not there. Is Michael there? Michael is gone. Okay, he's gone. He's gone, Nigel. <laughs> I can't see. Him. Okay. So next is this the one. Um. Okay, this is the one of them, uh, the, the, the situation. So which one you want to choose? Learn a new language and make new friends, discover new games and contribute new developments or become a volunteer and give something back. I tell you, uh, if it's O level itself, it would be good to have this one here, volunteer. Michael, are you there? Yo, Michael, 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 Michael. Not there, okay. Doma, Emily, this will be good if you can use this one here. Oh, Michael, you're back. Thank you. Can you hear me, Michael? Hey, Michael, put it So guys, it's good to use volunteer because as a teacher, I want to see how this volunteer can help you to improve your quality of life to help others. Okay, seriously, uh, in my opinion, uh, if you don't like to put volunteer as one of your, your this uh, email to your cousin, it's fine. Okay, so there are three, right? Ask you to choose two if I'm not mistaken, right? All right, me if I'm wrong. Uh, has shortlisted three activities. Uh, ask which one would you like to prefer? So which one? So that means you have to mention all the three. Uh, which one you would like to prefer? Your cousin is happy to, to do any of the three. So write your email. So you can propose all the three, but at the last one, you can say, let's do the volunteer. It's more meaningful to help others, to put a smile on those people when we serve them. So I sent a Zoom chat. Uh, why is equal to reason? How is the method? Uh? So this is the, the formula. Please take note. Uh. I'm not sure your teacher showed you this. Uh. This is very important, how you get your marks. I'm not going to go into details. Uh. If you can, the uh, best is always five and four. Uh. All points address. All points actually one or more develop in details. But this one is this, the best. The purpose. Same thing when you do social study, you must have the purpose. What is the purpose? Comparison skills, usefulness skills, reliability skills. The purpose. So what is the purpose of coming here? Emily, so just now you put so then how, right? Your, your father will ask you, your parent will ask you, so uh, why have you learned that, uh, Emily? So I've learned blah, 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 from this stupid, ugly fact, uh, Botak, Uncle Raymond, da, 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 da. Then uh, what have you do, 
during the lesson. Then I, the, 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 the last question is the most important. How are, have you learned something? How are, are you going to continue? How are, do you think it's beneficiary for you? So same thing. So any essay, when you choose, so is this the essay that you're going to write? Then if you want to write, what are the points you're going to put? How are you going to conclude? So introductions and conclusions are the most difficult. So let's talk about the, okay, all this point. Huh? Please look through, uh, look through, please. Now, essay skills. How many types of essay are there? This one. Now, do you know recently I got this private candidate? She, she's all the way from Shanghai. Come here to do private candidates. So, Michael, great. Yi Tong, Xie, great. She, 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 sorry, Nigel and Emily. Li Tai, ah, great. He came to Singapore to private candidate O level. You, you, how much money? Chai da. How much? Five k. Five k. Sixteen thousand for ten months. And you all study in Singapore, ah, uh, in the government school. I think some of you are maybe PR Singaporean or foreigners, ah. Uh. It's not as expensive as she studying in a private school, paying $16,000, and the whole exam fee is about $1,000. So she was saying, Uncle Raymond, uh, can I write this now? They said, after the last minute, now I tell you, uh, Blake, Nigel, Yi Tong, and Emily. Okay, all of you listening. Uh, last minute, uh, can I change to this one? He asked me, I said, I think you are good in writing this. You are not good in argumentative. Because argumentative, you need a lot of very strong vocab and other things to you. So what happened? Uh, she's a very good girl. Uh, okay? She decided to write an essay. If I can ask her permission, by right just now, she's supposed to return the books to me and going back to China soon. So I told her, why not you do this? And true enough, she wrote an essay for me to mark out. Blade. Guess what? The essay came out 50% the same question. Oh, woohoo! Well done. That is the passion I want to see. Of course, it's luck, lah, right? It's lucky that she did that and happened the question similar to that that question he did. That one was his unmemorable event, and then the other one, tell me which is the most dangerous things you do or something like that. The essay. Look at the the O level question this year, okay? And she did that, and she's so confident. Yes, I mean the rest is history, ah. Huh? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, okay, you have to do this uh, because next lessons, I have not much thing to share with you except to go through your essay. And please, if you want to give me at 11 p.m., uh, okay, Nigel, you are most welcome. I got student give me at 12 a.m. Uh, and uh, Yitong, you know what I'm doing? I'm watching TikTok. I saw two points. Don't be scared, Yitong. Actually, TikTok has a lot of things to write. 有时哦，可以弄到Uncle Raymond ku de, these are the four questions. Can I have a quick one? Uh? Whether you want to continue or whatever, just a quick one. Uh? And I want to share with you. Can we go 30 seconds to look through your question and I'll call your name and tell me why you choose the question, how I can help you to answer the question. Okay. I will start with uh, Craig. Then followed by Nigel, Blades, Michael, Shishian, Yi Tong, and last but not least, Emily. Okay, go by this order. Ah. Craig, you will start first. Ah, okay. Uh, I will do question four. Read the question, please, sir. Uh, people judge others too based on their appearance. Do you agree? Why or why not? There is, uh, my grandfather always told me this. Do not judge a book by its cover. You must judge the internal feelings. Today, I'm a very successful uh, businessman. My name is Craig. I always remember what my grandfather told me because appearance is just the outside. Do you know about Guo Wang the Xing Yi? 
you know there's another story， 他请他去吃饭，可是他随便穿，每个人推他出去，最后他 he wear he wear very nice clothing and go to attend the the banquet， 喜宴 ，you know what happened？ 你 throw all the food to his clothes， 你不是请我来，你是请我的衣服来。But of course, that one is too extreme. Okay, great. Did I start off with a good one? All right, use the fish pot. Use the way you cook. It's called aims. Ah, you a write down. Ah, a stand for that. You must create the atmosphere. The I stand for the interesting sentence that you want to create. You see, remember, ah, great. I I create this. Ah, they say don't judge a book by cover. True enough. Today I'm a businessman. Eh, very interesting. Ah. The M is the motivation sentence or motivation motivation statement I quote. Then S ah uh, is the last sentence suspend. So let me share with you why I agree. Then the second paragraph, the third paragraph. This one must be firstly, secondly, thirdly. If you can, okay. Why and why not? Thank you, Craig. Next, can I have Blake, please? Which question are you doing, Blake? Uh, question six. Read the question, please. Okay. Right about time when you decided it was more important to help someone else than you, uh, than to follow your own goal. They say a friend in need is a friend indeed. I decided to help my friend because I there was once I was very down, and nobody come to help me until Bit, who came to rescue Uncle Raymond. Do you want to know why? 下个星期见，不见不散哦，别走开哦。Wait, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah,、uh? the second, the third paragraph. You hook the person up. You start off something like that. Okay, thank you, Blade. Ah,、uh, Nigel, your turn. Ah,、uh, I choose question three. This describe the three qualities that are most important for you in a friend. They say. Qualities and quantities of friendship. You know, quality is not the quality. Quantity is the number game, ah.、Huh? They say quality and quantities. Then you can also say a friend in need is a friend in this. But a friend who is what you call, have you heard of this? Nigel, 近朱者赤，近墨者黑啊。好 ，Michael, you heard before, ah?、Huh? 近朱者赤，近墨者黑。听过吗 ，Michael? Ah, so same thing. You can if this is a Chinese essay, you can use that. But in English, you say that、uh, whatever you mix with the quality of friends, you will get whatever it is. That you can start to say, um, one man's meat is another man's poison. Sometimes friendships is all like your luck that you choose. But the three qualities that I feel is very important. Okay, we'll discuss in the next paragraph. Michael, your turn. Which question you like to do, Michael? Are you there, Michael? Are you there? Can you hear me? Which question you want to do? Sorry, my mom、uh, was calling me. No problem. Which question you、uh, want to do? Ah,、uh, I'll four, do five, question、six. question three. Also question three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Please take take down. Ah,、uh, if not, you take a screenshot. Ah.、Uh. Okay. Okay. When you done this, ah,、uh, please take a picture、uh, using blue pen. Ah.、Uh. You can use black pen, can、uh, you can WhatsApp to my handphone number with your full scrap paper, proper full scrap paper. Leave a line, ah,、uh, and submit to me. And then if you can write the number over, so you got two homework. One is situation writing, one is essay. They got three option for you. One you do every both. Two you just do situation writing. Three you do essay. Option four, I don't feel like doing. I'm fine with me, ah.、Uh. Okay, it's fine with me. So you got four option. One is do everything. Two is do situation. Three is do essay. Four is do nothing. Thank you, Michael. Next, Shi Xian, your turn. Um, just to clarify. Please read the question, please. Thank you, sir. Do you think post secondary school education is more important today than it was a generation ago? Why or why not? Because of you, ah.、Uh. Sir, Mr. Liu, then watch this move. Do you, you know about Apprentice by Donald Trump? Street smart and book smart. So, do you think it's important for um than it was a generation ago? Why and why not? Why last time degree is very important. Today now you see some of the influencer, Mr. Beast. Do you think they got Harvard and Cambridge and Oxford degrees? No right, but because of their charisma. You know what's a charisma now? 
Shishen, you know it's charisma. Right? You should write it down. Copy down, please. Charisma is uh, Emily. Have you seen this word before? Yeah. What does it mean? Emily, any idea? Yi Tong, you have seen this word? Charisma. My daughter's is Charisma. Uh. Take away the M A. Uh. Okay, so you know why is this word, huh? Okay, thank you, uh, Shi uh, Xian. Yi Tong, your turn. Number six. Yeah, please. Oh, number six. I'll write about time when you decide. Okay. So same thing. Why do you think it is important to help someone than to achieve your goal? What makes you think that helping that person will actually indirectly or directly achieve your goal? You see the difference? Actually, I want to complete the goal, but I help someone. 反而是一件穿掉, also help me. Okay. Uh, that will be a twist. Very interesting. Thank you. Back to you, Emily. Number six. Also, oh, wow, number six. Okay, good. So you have to bring the, the passion. You really sit, question number six, you really have to sit down. But please, huh? this is O level as and you got no time to sit down and think and think. Huh? So it's really you need more practice, perfect practice to do to, to crystallize your essay, to make it vibrant, to make it more interesting, exciting. That's where you need to add in certain nice vocab words. Uh, fish spot like EDM, similes, spaces, occupations, as happy as a lung, you know, um, an apple of an eye, okay, uh, slow and steady, win the games, a friend in need is a friend indeed, uh, these kind of things. Uh. Number seven. So this is a marking scheme for essay, continuous writing. So you see coherent and cohesive presentation of ideas across the whole of the response. Uh. And then all aspects of tasks are fully addressed and developed in detail. So if you have three points, uh, those of you who are doing question number one, number three, the, the first question about this one, the three qualities. Uh, so you really have to, to mention the three most important qualities. Oh, this is paper two. So this is a wrong one putting here, but just to do. Okay, are uh, this the one, guys? Can you copy down? A good introduction needs to have aim plus smart. Okay, atmosphere, interesting start. Motivates readers to hook on to the fifth spot. Suspend to a readers to continue to read the second paragraph. Uh, please do not share with your classmates or your schoolmates or your friends. Okay, because uh, unless uh, Blake is your friend, hey Blake, I got something I learned from somewhere from the tuitions I share with you, then you share. 对不起, uh, Blake, 我们现在做一个自私的人, selfish. Reason is, you want in the class. It's not hard to hear this people are not hard to uh, so this is this will be appear in my four books, uh, uh, Emily and Yitong, which is uh, creative writing skills. Uh, I have all the details. Uh, please, so that's why please do not share this with your friends because this will be in my new book. Then let me see uh, any more. Or oh, is this the last page? Uh, next month, I mean, next week, I will share with you more what is S-M-A-R-T. Uh. Okay, if you want, you can just a quick one. S stands for the setting of the whole entire story, okay? Uh, Yitong setting. 如果你拍一个鬼戏, where's the setting? 就是鬼屋吗? Then what is the M? M stands for main character. 就是你要有 actors and actress, Then A stands for my favorite atmosphere. So 鬼屋当然是气氛很怕, very eerie, very scary. Then R is a rhythm. Rhythm means paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph 3. And T stands for the title, the haunted house, the haunted castle. So that is aim plus smart. So with this method so far, uh, I won't say 100% guarantee, but at least you will face That means you will hit near to the correct answer and you will not be out of point. That's the main important thing. So you see, I like to use a lot of aberrations. Uh. These are the seven types. 
So you from now, from now, uh, you don't wait until January. Uh, okay, for now, you have to ask yourself, which is your strength? Is it argumentative, explanatory or what? Okay, ask yourself. Okay, and I've already sent my handphone to all of you. Please take note of the handphone. And if you all want, you can create a group chat together. Okay. Can I? So that's a quick one. If you want, you can take a picture of this question here. Hey, where's my, my essay question? Okay. Take a picture of this one. But of course, you got the lesson plan, right? I think my colleagues have sent the lesson plan to you. So lesson trees will be going through all your essay. So my advice is you can give it to me on like over the weekend uh, or over the Friday, Saturday, or even at night. Please do not type. Uh. Of course, if you no choice, you need to type, then you type. Uh. Okay, if you can, if you can, don't type because I want to see your handwriting. Okay, I want to see your handwriting. All right. 